tonight a sister Susie, uh, Susanna Smith's friend, Renee, who works with her in the food ministry. Her daughter passed, and so we want to pray for her. And also today, um, I got a call today uh, asking for special <coughs> prayer from Sister Della Brooks. And she was really, really upset because her daughter uh, had been having some stomach pains and she went to the doctor. has been having pains for over a year. They found uh, all kind of legions in her stomach and all down in her organs and she went for a final test today at 3 o'clock but she was in tears. She said, you know, I've lost two children already yes. and she started telling me about her son and how someone had taken his life and they didn't find him for two weeks and they couldn't identify him so I told her I witnessed to her you know don't worry God is still an able God even when it looks bad we gotta lean and depend on him and we also need to know it doesn't matter how long you hear the Bible says your life is just like a vapor it just appears for a little while and then it's gone and so many times, parents would say, why did God take my son or my daughter? And I tell them, well, it, it wasn't, or he or she wasn't yours. It belonged to the Lord. Amen. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Yes. But blessed be the, be the name yes. of the Lord. Yes. So we're here to celebrate tonight, this last day. We want to thank those of you that tuned in on Facebook that's on Zoom and is going to watch uh, this service later on. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we want to praise the Lord. There's a word from the Lord in this day and time. I want to thank the musicians that have come, our praise team, a couple of deacons here, and all of you that have taken time to tune in. And I'm praying that the vaccine will work so that we can get back to church. I don't know about you, but I want to see your face in this place one more time. I want to hear the shallow choir sing again. I want to hear the deacons pray again. I want to see the urshers on the door. And I want to see all of God's people in this place one more time. Voices lift our hands to an almighty God and tell him thank you for bringing us over. Our praise team is going to sing another selection. And after they sing, we're going to have the word of God on this last day in the year 2020. And that will come from Reverend Land Rubin.
that are not here anymore. Because of his goodness, his grace, and his mercy extended toward us. He decided to leave a few of us here to continue to praise his name. Amen. We, we thank him for all he's done. This had been a rough six days for me. make it tonight. But God is gracious. Yes, he is. And God is good. Oh, yes. So here we stand to preach his word. Give me that E flat over there. Let's go sing a bit of this. Praise to him. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you,
and the changes that they go through, it will somehow change the nature of God. Uh, yeah. right now. This generation that we are in now is in serious circumstances. And we all know that we are going through a pandemic which has caused many changes. Changes in every walk of life. You cannot go into a store nowadays without a mask. You cannot get treatment at hospitals without a COVID test. We cannot go through a toll booth anymore and give money to a toll taker. So many changes have come about. The schools are closed. The colleges are closed. People cannot congregate. As a matter of fact, even here in the church, we got more signs on pews than we have people. Changes have taken place. And we wonder now what is going to happen and when it's going to happen. You watch the news programs, as I do, and everybody has an opinion. Doesn't matter which show program you watch. All day long, they got folk talking about what they think should happen. We have a madman still occupying the White House who thinks that he can change an election. People are looking to people to solve their problems. Yeah, that's right. But you need to know and understand that folk cannot solve your problems. Right. One of the reasons people can't solve your problems is because they got so many problems of their own. A man asked me the other day to help him out. And I looked at him and said, Homie, you need to help me out. <laughs> because right now, I'm out of breath. In other words, the blind cannot lead the blind. You don't know what issues that other people have. But one thing you know is that God knows all about us. And God can fix every situation but there are some conditions that we have to accept before God is going to change the situation are y'all listening to me in the days of Malachi they had issues and they had problems and so they finally decided and come to themselves and say, we need the Lord to intercede on our behalf. So they go to God in prayer, and he gives them the answer in the sixth verse. He says, for I am the Lord. I change not. In other words, until you can accept the fact that God is not going to change, you are not going to get him to intercede on your behalf. Well, what things do you, you have to do? Number one, he said, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and do what? Pray. The first thing you have to do is you have to pray. Not the multiplicity of words, but the sincerity of your heart. 
I had to take a, a procedure this week, and I wanted God to fix it before I got there. Are y'all listening to me? In other words, when the technician asked me, what are you saying? I wasn't saying, I was praying. Prayer changes. Thank you, whoever said it. It not only changes things, as Pastor Davis used to say, it changes people. Because when you pray, God intercedes on your behalf. He's a prayer hearing and a prayer answering God. So he says, if my people which are called by my name humble themselves and pray and then do what? Seek my face. And then you got to do it one more thing. Thank you, Brother Riley. You got to take a retrospective view on your own self. Because our nature is to have wicked ways. Whether you admit it or not, you can't control the thoughts that come in your head. I don't care how prayed up you are, how stayed up you are, the devil knows how to get in your mind. And you've got to pray and humble yourself, seek the face of God, and then check your own self out, and then turn away from the conditions that you have. Because all of us have ways. We come to preachers and say, I need this, and pray for me, and I'm going through that, and I'm going through this. But you have to understand that you are with you 24 hours a day. Seven days a week. Are y'all with me here? You, you live with you. And you, you know you. Okay? You, you think that you're so saved, set aside, filled with the Holy Ghost. But in a man new second, the old you can pop out. I, I told my son the other day, the only reason I don't punch you is because I ain't as strong as I used to be. But it's not that the thought. Are y'all listening to me? Don't enter my mind. Okay? Because I I saw you come into the world. I changed your diapers. I struggled to try to help keep a roof over your head. I raised you from nothing, and now you have got halfway strong and, and a little bit older, and you think that you can talk to me. But brother, it's not that I don't want to. It's just that I don't want to take the chance. He <laughs> says, turn from your wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. And forgive what? Your sins. Your is a personal pronoun. In other words, we can't put one another down because we all got sins. Sitting around here acting like you so saved and sanctified, oh, the best of us and got something wrong with us. And the worst of us got something good about us. So you don't behoove any of us to try to put anybody else down. What's wrong with us in this world nowadays is that we live in a world where folk are trying to be better than somebody else. Rather than being the best you possibly can for yourself. Envy and jealousy are two bad things. So here we are in the book of Malachi. God speaks to them and says, For I am the Lord. I change not. Notice what he says next. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. In other words, y'all ain't no better than nobody else. That's right. That's right. White folks ain't no better than black folks. 
Chinese ain't no better than Mexicans. Indians ain't no better than nobody else. Because any one of us, we all bleed red blue. We get organs from somebody else. You don't ask who it was. Right now, we had a young man several years ago who passed away. He was an organ donor. And he was 41 years old and black. His heart is now pumping in an 18-year-old white boy. Yeah. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. Therefore, we all have things that are the same. Yeah. He passed away, but somebody else is living because of his organ. Yeah. So here we are, he 